this is how I hatch um, Artemia eggs or baby brine shrimp for the live feed, a good protein source for my fish. I attached an air pump to a plastic bottle with a regulator over there. So I recycled this. I opened the end and I did not remove it so that I could put a lid on it later. You need one liter of water, just a normal tap water would do. All right. And then, so the air pump, the air in it would actually dissolve the sea salt that we are going to add later. So I'm adding one tablespoon of sea salt. If you don't have sea salt, use just a normal um, table salt. Um, I'm not sure if iodized salt will work, but one tablespoon of sea salt to one liter of water. And then you leave it for a few minutes or you can stir it if you want. Just make sure that everything is dissolved before you add the eggs. The air pump would actually help dissolve it. So this, this is the Artemia cyst. So it has 90% harvest and I bought this from um, online shop and I'm just adding one teaspoon of the eggs or the cysts it's a lot it looks so little but it's very tiny you could get a lot like thousands of baby brine shrimp so you just drop it and let the air pump do the work. So as you can see, it's going down and it's getting mixed inside the bottle of basically salt solution. And you will have to leave this for 24 hours. And then you have to turn on the light for two reasons. Number one is to add heat because the eggs, they would hatch if they are wet. So that's why we have the water. And of course, it has to be because it's a baby brine shrimp. It has to be um, salty water. And then there has to be oxygen and then light. So the second reason why you're, we're doing this is later to lead the hatched baby brine shrimp or BBC. BBS um, at the end of the bottle and well I'll explain further later um, why we have to put the light at the end of the bottle so like this because it follows the light So we leave this for, again, like I said, 24 hours. Some say between 18 to 36 hours. It really depends on the, the heat of the light or also the salinity. You just have to check once in a while because you will see that once the eggs are hatched, um, it will float and uh, a lot of them will be there at the top layered and we will use the filter for it i have two filters here so one in the top which will filter the eggs and at the bottom the brine shrimp so but if you don't have it it's okay because um, there's another way where you can just lead the shrimp with the light and stop when it gets to the egg or before it gets to the egg look at them this is after 24 hours healthy baby brine shrimp 
why do you need to hatch it? Well, it's it's good for um, um, feeding the fish, um, especially the small ones. If you have baby fish fry or those um, guppies, they love this, and this is a good source of protein for them. So some of them don't like the blood worms. This is a good alternative, and once you hatch them, you can actually culture them so you don't have to buy again and again, and you can grow them. I, I heard it in um, some um, blogs or forums. They actually like grow until about 3 centimeters long. Not sure if it's 3 centimeters, quite long. Maybe 3 millimeters? I don't know. I will have to find out for myself because I'm going to um, harvest this and divide them into two groups, one for feeding the fish and one for culture. And as you can see now, they are settling below, following the light. And like I said earlier, if you don't have this net, it's fine. You can just have one net. Um, to filter everything um, just make sure that you stop the drip or the tap before it gets to the eggs so this one <laughs> the red thing that you're seeing here is actually um, soda dispenser which I found in Shopee and I think that I thought that it would be a good idea to use it for this purpose. Otherwise, if you don't have this, you can just hang the bottle and use the cap and put the air pump in it and use the drip as well. You can find that kind of arrangement in YouTube. So there you go. You have the eggs on top and the shrimp baby brine shrimp at the bottom but i still have to wash this because my fish is fresh water i have fresh water in my tank and this is very salty so just to wash the salt over it so everything that you see at the top those are the hatched eggshells and the unhatched ones and those at the bottom the more uh, more reddish and orangey those are the live baby brine shrimps so i'm just using one hand here i'm just very careful not to overflow It's the first time I try I'm trying this net. So you can see it's really good. No wastage. I cannot. I check the water below. Nothing passed through. So it's really a good mesh. So there, the one with the plant, it's mixed with sea salt. And I'll put half of my harvest there for to culture it, to grow it. And I'll see if I will be successful. So there you go. Why is there a plant there? Because they eat um, algae. And um, it's just easier for it to grow if there's like a plant there or otherwise you can crush a sp like spirulina tablet and feed it and this is for the feeding Alrighty, i have this turkey baster this is just easy to feed transfer go crazy look at them and this way they feel that they are in the wild as well I feel like they feel like they're hunting for the baby brine shrimp 
because it's moving and just makes things um, different for them as well. If you're wondering why the other one is separated because I think she's pregnant but um, yesterday I removed her from that one because I think she's so stressed out so I'll just let her lay her live baby fish whenever it's time look at them so happy have my glowfish goldfish this is the mama red wagtail platy and the angelfish bully <laughs> can also feed this to um, bigger fish like parrot fish i have tried it and they they actually liked it it's just that they need to focus more because they don't really see it that much i'm not sure but basically fish of all sizes would love this look at the pink Glowfish the Tetra. She's back to being healthy. Pranic healing works. Some people call it Reiki. I'm glad it survived. them there's like a different energy the mama fish the preggy fish is not so excited I think she's experiencing pain or stress try to feed her after a few hours and she liked it So this is it, my baby brine shrimp culture after, when did I do that? I did that last Sunday. So now it's Tuesday and look at them thrive. There are some that did not survive, the water salinity perhaps, or maybe I put too much egg, or sorry, not eggs, I put too much live um, brine shrimps there, but we'll see. In this one, I try to put some light like a light source at one side just so I could see if they would respond to it because it's hard to see if they're just floating like dead bodies or what and I'm happy to see that a lot of them are still alive there you go so I'm going to post an update and see if they will grow bigger and see if I'm successful. Thanks for watching.